Now then team, welcome back to the channel and on this little episode we're talking about knots. So this is for the how-to guide. Um, beginners, intermediates may not have come across these two simple knots that I'm going to demonstrate because this is one of the biggest mistakes that anglers will make before they hit the bank when preparing their tackle. The first one is a simple loop. Now you would think making a loop is as straightforward as it gets. Now hopefully you can see that line against that white backdrop, the white paper that I've put down using this uh, core and barbell lengths, it's nice and thick, 12 pound, and should demonstrate how to make a loop effectively. First thing you need to do, stretch the line and literally make a loop. And there you go, and hold it between your thumb and forefinger. And this is where the errors start coming in with anglers. So you see, I've still got it, it's just made a loop, it's there. Some people will go underneath, wrap around and come around the back and tie it, so it sort of meets itself. Okay for silverfish, but under any pressure, it's gonna rub into itself and essentially cut. So by just making a simple look there, what I'm then gonna do is just find this little tag end there. And what we're gonna do is we're now gonna make another loop. So you can see there's my original loop and there's this new one that I've made. Now we're gonna take that original loop over the top, over the back, and then through the original loop that we made. And you can see it makes that sort of figure of eight, just there. A little bit of moisture, pull that tight. Just pull the tag in there. And you can see that is never ever going to break. It's not going to bite into itself and that is rock solid. So I'm going to show you that one again. Just trim that off, show you once more. So, we're going to get the main line, we're going to make a loop just there. I'm going to grab that loop between thumb and forefinger, just there. Now, there's the original one you can see. I'm going to make another loop just there and take that original loop over the back and then through the new loop that you've created. You can see it just there. Once again, a little bit of moisture to avoid friction. That loop is not going to break. Solid as a rock. Right, for my second knot, I need some slightly thinner line, so hopefully you can see that okay if I bring it closer to the camera. This is to tie anything onto the line, so whether it be an eyed hook, whether it be a swivel, a hook link connector, anything along those lines. This is eight pound line, and I've got a size, uh, what are we on? 14 Guru Pellet Waggler Hook. And what we do is we're gonna pass this line through the back always when you tie in a, an eye hook on always pass it through the back of the eye quite difficult to do when i've got a camera in front of my face and there we go and it's now free running on the line you can see and what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop as always but this tag here is really really important because we're going to bring it around the back to create a loop but then holding those two bits of line together oops we're going to bring this through and create another loop here. And we're gonna go once, twice, three times, four times through this little loop. So we've still got the original loop there, but we've now created this other loop. And we're gonna moisten that. And now we're gonna pull that tight. You can see it meets the main line. But what we're now gonna do is take the hook and pull the main line and you'll see that it pulls right down onto the actual hook itself. We can pull this it's very tight. And that there we go, which of that was barbless, that's right in my finger. And that is now on the line and that isn't coming off at all. There's a little bit more motion. Pull that line as that tag as tight as you can. But that is how you tie a swivel or an eyed hook or some sort of connector to your line. Create a loop, create a secondary loop within the loop, go around that loop three times, four times, moisten, and then hold the object such as the hook or the swivel and pull the main line tight until 
it draws down onto it and that is not coming off at all so there we go little how-to guide nice and quick hopefully those two loops or, uh, sorry those two knots um, will give you some really good uh, strength when you're out fishing and we'll keep these little short videos coming